Good morning, y'all. What is up? Welcome back to another vlog. Yes, this morning. It's all dark in here. We're in the parking structure of the mall. We are starting this vlog out at the mall because if you guys didn't know, I'm an Aries queen and my birthday is in, by the time you watch this, it will probably already be passed, but my birthday is in three days. It's on the 30th and I've never been more like unprepared I guess I would say last year I kind of went all out did the whole nine yards type of situation this year I'm on more chill vibes I really want to go to the mall right now buy myself a gift I'm thinking perfume bag of the sorts maybe there was one bag i specifically wanted it was like this denim coach bag but they don't have a coach store in this mall which i thought that they did um so i'm gonna look and see but i don't think they're gonna have it like in you know macy's nordstrom that type of thing we'll see though they might surprise me or i might find another bag that i like more but that and then i also want to get baccarat because i've been using the small like travel size bottles of it every time i wear it out i get insane compliments so that's what we're here to get maybe a bag and then definitely my perfume i love that perfume so much it's so god awful expensive but it's my birthday so i want to treat myself also look i got a little birthday gift these little versace glasses how cute are these my red velvet lipstick gotta have it <laughs> That's literally me when I put these on. I love them so stinky much. Anyways, we're at the mall. I made myself a coffee this morning. Look at what I got off of Amazon. These cute little compostable, like, to-go cups. And then I am using my glass straw. They are not plastic, 100% plant-based. We love it. We love it. Made the best coffee ever this morning. Didn't clean my espresso machine for three months. That was really good and fun. I was wondering why my coffee tasted like absolutely phone ass i literally was like what is going on here and then yeah cleaned my machine and i was like oh wow this is the best coffee in the entire world anyways let me just do me on a lip real quick we're doing the rare beauty lip liner and strong this is like one of my go-to lip liners so people ask me what is your lip comb this is probably the liner i have so many like go-to liners but rare beauty and strong it's always gonna be good this is like my perfect brown for my skin personally i'm a little more on the pale side but in the summer i do tan really nice so this is like my all year round perfect brown and this flower by drew barrymore anybody that knows me knows she's one of my favorite actresses of all time um so i thought this was so cool but these are really good this is like her beauty line gloss crush lip serum this is like one of the best products i think the line offers because it's more of a serum but it leaves your lips looking glossy y'all it's so good it's like the perfect little amount of color because i am not like a color girl and just like not a lipstick type of girl you know what i mean so good literally so good because it doesn't get sticky and it doesn't leave the white stuff you know when it leaves white stuff in it no 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 don't make me look like that it made me look like neanderthal like foaming at the mouth don't do that to me anyways let's get inside you guys know i'm going to bring you along obviously for the festivities so let's get in there and have a cute little birthday shopping extravaganza even though we're only here for two things but it's still gonna be fun all right y'all we got it the girl that helped me was literally so nice she was an aries queen <laughs> anyways got back around so quick it's so nice there's nobody in here so excited we literally got in got out in within an hour okay let me take these off and i got exactly what i said i was gonna get we got Baccarat and then she gave me a whole bunch of like samples. She literally grabbed an entire pack and gave me some samples. She was so stinky nice. We got Miss Crap! Oh, you guys, this was like exactly what I was wanting. A little bit of gold, a little bit of denim. How stinking cute. I'm sorry, but Coach, they're stepping the f up. Like their game is getting so good. They're slowly becoming like one of my favorite purse brands. Every time I see something of theirs, whether it's like coach coach outlet just shopping around i'm like that is so cute like whoever they've got on their design team in the past couple years 
iconic like they're just doing such a good job i've seen so many bags that i want from coach and last year i bought myself a gucci bag and i was just like i don't know that i want to do something like that extravagant this year like i was thinking either coach bag or um buying second hand from like um all my designer that i bought that's like pre-loved pre-owned i get it from fashion file and if you're looking to buy like designer second hand that's where i got my chanel wallet and the matching bag to this love 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 so i was thinking about buying something off of there if i couldn't find anything in the store but lo and behold this was the last one this was exactly what i wanted my feet are blistering <laughs> my feet are blistering but we did what we needed to do and it was overall such a good shopping experience i'm sweating now it's only 59 degrees outside doesn't matter the sky could be falling with and storms and clouds and snow Ashley will still be sweating I thought I could go into Urban Outfitters and get a phone case they don't sell phone cases anymore but they sell for Stanley's oh my god they have the biggest selection of Stanley's I've actually ever seen it was kind of crazy but I'm trying not to over consume in things that I don't need you're probably gonna be like Ashley why do you need a perfume or a new another bag let me tell you something I will over consume in things that I like to collect that being fragrances anything having to do with fashion jewelry bags those shoes hello i love sneakers those things i genuinely enjoy collecting i will never feel bad about over consuming those things because that's a joy for me genuinely i like to have a lot of options with fashion that's just who i am as a person i just love that you know that's what brings me joy the overconsumption of everything else does not bring me joy it actually grosses me out and that's just who i am you know what i'm saying it doesn't bother me when other people like have a lot of stuff or you know like everybody has their style of, of what they like and how they like things set up me personally i've learned that in my house i don't like a lot of stuff so i'm trying not to over consume of things that i just don't need does that make sense it doesn't bring me joy to buy all this new home decor it doesn't bring me joy to buy 500 cups when i've already got 500 sitting at home that's what i'm trying to say so that's definitely one of my goals this year especially with moving i've just like gotten rid of so much stuff and i'm like wow i'm like really growing as a person i'm really downsizing i'm really you know getting rid of things that don't serve me and that brings me a, a certain joy you know to get rid of things that are just cluttering up my life that i don't use and someone else can use it and enjoy it kind of my biggest um thing right now going on i swear to god my house is like empty because i've just been getting rid of so much stuff because i'm like i don't need this i need uh, one pan i need a couple plates i need i got i just went through my entire cup collection i need a couple mugs you know things like candles mugs those things are things people gift me like as gifts like oh i haven't seen you in a while here you go here's this or like uh for my birthday so my family they gifted me like a, a starbucks mug you know what i mean like i'm gonna be getting those things anyways just from like gifts and like you know just living like people um wanting to be generous and stuff so i'm trying to not overindulge and buy things when i really don't need it so that's my spiel recently on <laughs> consumerism and everything that's going on with that i'm trying to be more mindful of what i really do bring into my home let's go home i have to get my nails done tonight and i'm thinking something cute i'm thinking pink aura i actually have like a photo now we're just chatting so we might as well just continue to chat let me just put my car in park at this point um i have an idea obviously they're not gonna be oval i think the square is my vibe i don't think i'm an oval girly i think i've always been a square but i'm loving the shorties okay i know what i said realize i love shorties i really do and so i kind of want to keep this vibe i want to do something like this i don't know if you guys have seen this like that shadow aura type of nails i'm thinking we'll do some gold detailing on every single nail and then on one nail maybe this one because that's where my seven tattoo is so it would probably make sense i want to do seven because even though these will be my birthday nails they will also follow into the week of harley's death which is next week and i want to do like a nail for her um and i was thinking about doing her name but like harley wouldn't fit on my finger like it's six letters you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to do the seven because seven is like her special day it's the day she died so yeah i thought that that would be something cute not only for my birthday but also to honor harley i knew that i wanted to do a nail set 
for her um so i just think the seven will be really really cute it's just to honor her and the day and yeah so i'll see you guys when we get home we are back home i ate some lunch walked the girls did everything that i needed to do it's almost two my nail appointment is at six so we got some time to kill but do you remember like og og youtube where people would do favorites videos and like what's in my bag videos those were my tea i'm literally 13 years old i'm like yes girl what's in your bag show me everything like at the end of the month want to start showing like monthly favorites so i have a couple here honestly just want to go through them they're all kind of like self-care type of situation so if you're not into that you can just skip ahead but anybody that does care about like self-care hygiene that type of thing i got some products here for you also k18 came out with a new dry shampoo or not a new one just a dry shampoo so i'm very excited to try this i have no thoughts on this yet this is not included in my thing i just wanted to show you guys because they sent it over to me in pr i have some typology products you guys know i literally love this brand i love working with them i love their products i I'm such a believer in their skincare. It's amazing. So I've been doing the toner method. That's like my favorite thing right now. It's called the seven layer toner method. It's a Korean way to like layer your toners. You don't use seven toners. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but you're basically just layering your toners up. So I stocked up on some of their toners. This one is exfoliating. This one is purifying. Love, love, love them. Really into a vitamin C serum. I have so many acne scars, so their vitamin C serum has been my tea. Also, this botanical blend face oil. I love a gua sha. I love to use a face oil when I dermaplane my face. So this oil is absolutely amazing. This is just the botanical blend. It smells amazing. It is amazing. The feeling of it. I'm kind of particular about oils, especially oils on my face, and that one so good speaking of dermaplaning this flamingo dermaplane razor face razor this is amazing this is the best one that i have yet to try i got mine at target it's amazing if you've been keeping up with the vlogs this dermaplane razor it cannot be beat it comes with two cartridges i've already used it twice now and it's not even a little bit dull yet so love that and then you just switch it out like this love it the lash serum that i've been using is this babe lash essential serum i love this stuff i even love the lash conditioner as well some nights i'll use the serum some nights i'll use the conditioner it kind of just depends this is so great i feel like it's really helped me grow my lashes and then the lash conditioner a lot of times after i give myself a lash lift you're like perming your eyelashes so it kind of hurts a little bit for the first couple of days this stuff is so great to just put on your lashes to condition them. I'll even put this typology oil on them just because when you do the lash lift, it really like dries them out and they they hurt. I'm not gonna lie, like they, they kind of hurt a little bit. Just like the hairs, they get super dry. So yeah, those have been my go-to. Toners, are we surprised? Actually, this is a toner and this is an essence. Are we surprised? No, because I have been loving this layering toner method i just love it it really works for me i feel like my skin really loves it as well so i have the laneige cream skin toner this is amazing it's so milky i've come to realize i really like a milky toner it keels rejuvenating facial essence i explained in a couple vlogs back why i've been using a facial essence so good very hydrating locks in moisture great for somebody with dry skin great for somebody who just wants a little moisture on their skin so good i've been using the tatcha one which i also love but this is amazing it smells like kind of like a black tea and i just feel like it keeps my skin looking dewy glowy very moisturized love her i don't know what they put in this ula hendrickson strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer this is insane this is literally insane every time i use this i'm like my skin looks absolutely amazing it's literally just a peptide boost moisturizer it smells phenomenal it's so thick and creamy love it my next two are rare booty this packaging is so sleek and aesthetic i love it it's gorgeous i actually just picked up this pr these actually came out a while ago but they send their pr to my grandma's house so i actually just recently picked it up from my grandma's house because she lives far rare beauty hair body mist and then this is the lotion so good the combo together is actually quite iconic it smells 
phenomenal if you're looking for like a spritz or a perfume for your hair um this is so good i use this before i go to the gym it just has a great nice scent to it very musky all right my last favorite on this list is this this is actually new but i have to throw it in here because i've been wearing it the past couple of days and i think it's just so good and so iconic and i just see myself using it so much in the upcoming months especially for summer this is the tatcha silk sunscreen spf 50 so freaking good i love how dewy it leaves your skin it's honestly giving dewy skin mist as a sunscreen it's incredible i love that it's 50 spf i forgot to charge my camera ah! 28 percent what the f are we gonna do with that you did a good job at really fucking up my day <laughs> just went to trader joe's hopefully my groceries will be okay in the car okay they're just gonna have to sit back there and linger okay do you have to let it linger do you have to do you have to so they're just gonna have to chill and mingle back there because i was like i do not feel like going after my nails i'm honestly tired and i just want to go home and do a little bit of self-care in my bed anyways i was starving and i was gonna like go to chipotle or in and out or something but i was like let me just get something from trader joe's to eat because that's just better you know like it just i'm already here i don't have to go out of my way I don't have to make a second trip and technically it's not eating out is it would you consider that eating out? I don't think so. So I got this turkey club wrap. It was okay. Could have used more mayo. Um, it was dry. Oh my god. I have to tell you guys what happened to me. Oh my god. When I came home from my trip, because I went out of town, I got Jersey Mike's. Okay, I don't know why I was having such a big sandwich craving. Okay, so I was like, I'm going to get Jersey Mike's because I'm having a craving. So I go to Jersey Mike's. First of all, I'm pretty sure Amanda Bynes was behind me. Um, and I guess her family is from out here, so it's not far-fetched. I'm like positive it was her. Anyways, beside the point, he's making my freaking sandwich, okay? This kid is making my sa well, I don't think it's a kid. If it was a kid, I'm going to absolutely fucking pass away and die. This guy's making my sandwich, and he's like he's like what do you want and i was like i want it mike's way with mayo he slaps the mayo on there i'm like no baby more mayo like i need it wet i was like i like it wet I like it, I like why the fuck would you say that he just started laughing and like laughed it off played it i wanted to cry and like who the f sometimes i think i just say things without without thinking them through why wouldn't you just say more mayo please end it there that was enough. I probably traumatized everybody in there. Hope nobody else heard. Let me just absolutely leave the premises. You know what? Keep my sandwich, okay? Anyways, beside the point, I wanted to show you guys that I got this chocolate almond protein smoothie. 23 grams of protein and it's non-dairy. So for all the uh, non-dairy drinkers, I wouldn't say it's the best. I really like the slate ones. You guys know those are like my go-to protein drinks, but this one is non-dairy, so... I have to use the bathroom for anything that's gonna take a long time because bladder size of a raisin okay and I got my new bag look at the bag oh so cute All right, y'all, and just like that, we're out, and we got birthday nails, birthday nails, birthday nails. So cute. She freaking snapped. We got the sevens. We got some charms. She did some, like, stars. She slays the day every single time. She pulled out this freaking airbrush thing to do the, like, um aura whatever they call i think they call them aura nails she called them aurora nails whatever they're called these nails so good she kills it every time okay trader joe's haul we got popcorn of course we've got everyone was telling me how to say this sous vide or so vide is it so vide oh my god i'm still gonna say it wrong these are so good if you like chicken get these i got this i've never tried this pulled chicken so i got two different types of chicken this i'm gonna have right now because i've been craving this why who even knows sometimes i get really intense cereal cravings and i crave like the worst cereals known to man that nobody likes raisin bran being one of those um and shredded wheats 
And not the Frosteds. Don't like the Frosteds. Only these. <laughs> but I've never tried the ones from Trader Joe's, so I'm really excited to try that. And I have berries and stuff. Um, so I'm thinking shredded wheats with some berries and some oat milk. That's gonna hit. All right, next bag. I have half my protein shake because I didn't drink the whole thing. But I got two of these chocolate almond protein smoothies. Raspberries, because their strawberries did not look good. I'm not a raspberry gal, but hey, today <laughs> I am. This turkey, spinach, and Swiss wrap. I got a Caesar salad because I want to make chicken Caesar salad wrap. Whole wheat breads um the ingredients in here the, okay bye the ingredients okay the ingredients in here are really clean it's like flour water salt love it it's like no extra bullshit so i thought that i could make my chicken caesar salad wraps on here cheese because i always keep shredded cheese in the house carrots i went through a bag of these so quick last week so it's like need to re up on those Love that I give a story time after every item. <laughs> Two mangoes. Zucchini squash. That's my last item. I used to make these zucchini squashes with, you season them up, put some olive oil. You do a little bit of cheese, like a little bit of whatever cheese you want. Where's my cheese? Right here. A little bit of melted cheese on them. A little bit of breadcrumbs on top. Really defeats the purpose of eating vegetables, but it's so freaking good. And then you bake them in the oven. And I was just like, that sounds like I need to have it this week. So that's what we've got. What I've been loving in the morning, bagels. I am going through a bagel phase right now. I'm honestly gonna be sad to see the day that I'm like, I don't want a bagel. <laughs> but every day for the past two weeks, even when I was gone last week, every day that I was gone, I got a bagel. Why? Because bagels are my new obsession and I'm going to eat them until I absolutely hate them. So we've got blueberry and we've got plain. If you guys didn't know, bagels actually have nine grams of protein in them. So put it with a little egg, a little cream cheese, whatever, however you like to do with your bagel. It's got protein. So I've been loving this. This is one of my protein snacks in the morning for my breakfast, take it with my greens and everything. So good. I just wanted to tell you guys about that because I've been telling you guys about how I'm trying to eat more protein. And so that is one way that I've just been loving. I genuinely get excited for breakfast. Just having a bagel, a little bit of fruit, some egg. Very good. Good morning, y'all. What is up? It is Thursday. Two more days to my birthday. I'm gonna be 26, y'all. Which means I'm gonna be off my mom's health insurance, which is a crime. Regardless, it's early. It's Thursday. It's a good day. Well, it's 9:30. It's not. It's, it's not super early. I slept in a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean 7:30. Because usually I'm up. These dogs get me up at six. Okay. Feeling a little tired today, but I will say, girl, we are going to the gym today. All I've been doing is my walk. So I like am dying to get in and do some like weight training. I already had my breakfast. I had a bagel and some raspberries. Let's try the pre-workout cocktail. Definitely think the strawberry oxy shred is my new favorite, the cosmic blast strawberry. And y'all, I'm so excited. No, this is big. This is big. I'm so excited to announce that I am now an EHP Labs athlete. What? When they messaged me, I think I pooped myself. Okay, because if you guys have been watching the vlogs, you know that I have been using this every single time I go to the gym. So this is like. This is so exciting for me, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys don't know about EHP or don't know about OxyShred, that's okay, don't worry, I'm gonna tell you. OxyShred is a thermogenic metabolic energy booster. I love taking this specifically before I run because I'm trying to get back into running again and this helps me feel like I can go longer. It honestly makes me feel unstoppable. Boost my energy, boost my immunity, boost my mood. It helps you burn more calories. So I have a code. 
if you want to use it obviously no pressure to use my code if you want it it's there it's ashley xo i'm gonna like link it literally everywhere just want to give it to y'all so you know that it's there if you're ever interested in oxy shred or anything from ehp they don't only make oxy shred this is like my go-to holy grail product but they also make greens which i love reds protein powders they now make protein pancakes they do it all so i'm so excited that i'm one of their athletes now y'all <laughs> me an athlete <gasps> let's go hit this booty workout got my pre-workout cocktail i always take mine a lot of people drink theirs before i like to drink mine like during because usually i'll do a warm-up and i'll drink my <laughs> pre-workout during that's just me though everybody is like does their own thing you know what i mean and then i got my water because i'm just a girl okay like Yes, and of course they're both gonna be pink. Let's go. Let's get this freaking workout in. I gotta get this ass pumping. Just got here and there's nobody in here, which is crazy because I'm here pretty early. And most times when I come early, it's packed. So I think it's because it's towards the end of the week. That happens a lot. Like beginning of the week, there's so many people. Towards the end of the week, I guess like the vibe dies out. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna show you guys my little well, first of all, my outfit, because I love wearing these sweats like over top to the gym because it's been freezing here in the morning. You guys know I always wear my hokas no matter what. Literally, no matter what the occasion, I'm always wearing these because I have plantar. A lot of people were telling me that I should wear flat shoes when I'm like doing lifting, but I literally can't. It will hurt my feet so bad. People with plantar fasciitis, y'all know. It's like a pain like no other. Like flat shoes will just kill me. The pants are from Maritzia. The leggings and little like black sports bra top are from Halara. And then this little thing is from Hollister, Gilly Hicks specifically. And then I have my little rare beauty bag. I love this as my gym bag. It's just so stinking cute and it fits so much stuff and it's pink, hello. So yeah, that's the outfit. Just wanted to give you guys a little overview, but I think I'm gonna walk just for like a couple minutes. I have some blisters on my feet, so we're not gonna do too much walking, but I wanna take advantage of the treadmill because I know somebody's gonna come in here and hop on it. So we'll do like a 10 minute little warm up. Maybe I'll try to do some sprints and then we'll start this leg day. chat haven't seen you guys in 24 hours because yesterday i had a full ass mental breakdown and i am now i'm now okay i've calmed down since then but yeah i had to like rush sadie to the vet not rush that's like so fucking dramatic but i called them and i was like i need an appointment stat and they were like come in the next 45 minutes and i was like period but i had to get sadie a whole bunch of testing done yesterday because she's been having her incontinence problem again and i just kind of want to make sure that it's still that and not something else um because incontinence in dogs is like it could be a whole slew of things so i just want to make sure it's still just that and not like something further anyway so i had them do a whole bunch of tests i actually told myself that i was gonna get all my dogs tested every year for blood work since harley um i kind of wish i had done that with harley since I didn't know, it's also very expensive. Like to get your their blood work done is like damn near six hundred dollars each dog, so it's really expensive. And I just like didn't know that I should be doing that. I like, didn't do that with Harley. I didn't know, you know what I mean. That was like my first dog in the adult world, and um, I kind of wish I was doing that with her. So I told myself from now on, every year, every year I'm getting routine blood work on my dogs because that's just something that I wish I would have done with her and I want to know what's going on. It's going to get done like I it, every single year. So April is when I lasted Sadie's last blood work. So she was due for blood work anyways. Um, so yeah, anyways, beside the point, had a full on mental breakdown about her having a fucking pee pee on the couch. Okay. Um, I was just like, is she okay? Like what's going on? So they ran the blood work. They're going to call me. So we're going to make sure it's like 
just her incontinence nothing else is wrong like a uti or anything in a couple weeks i'm going to do biggie and pepper and get their blood work out the way make sure everybody's healthy and on track okay because never never ever ever will i again it's very expensive to do it but i'm like i rather have the peace of mind <laughs> um then money okay <laughs> i'd rather have the peace of mind and my pocket's dry anyways i'm gonna do my skincare real quick right now so that's what had happened yesterday and then by the time i came home i wanted to film a reel yesterday so i was like rushing to do that after we came home from the vet because we spent kind of a long time at the vet then when i came home did my makeup rushed through the reel rushed to edit it like i was just then i was exhausted when my head hit the pillow Good night. I was like, I'm gonna need to take a gummy or something. Like we need to, that's what we need to do in this vlog. Go to the motherfucking dispensary because I have been having troubles sleeping. Don't know what that is, but I have like some other, they're not gummies, it's like a Rice Krispie treat. And I was like, I'm gonna need to take one cause I, I need to pass out. No, as soon as my head hit the pillow, good night. That was like the nicest sleep I've had in like a month. So it was probably from stressing and crying yesterday. Why was I even crying? I don't even know. Don't even ask me anything. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what my mommy got me. She got me some jewelry. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces. She got me a little bracelet, actually two bracelets. I told you guys that I'm trying to get more into my accessories, like just not even jewelry, just like scarves, hats, you know what I'm talking about, socks, like all different types of accessories. There's such a, it's such a broad term, you know what I mean? More bags, more things to accessorize up an outfit. I'm really trying to step into that vibe. Two little bracelets, love those. They're literally so stinking cute. This one's like braided, this one's like a chain. Two little emerald crosses. This one has like some regular gems in it. And then this one is like full emerald. I love emeralds. I love ruby. I love like colorful gems. So this is like right up my alley. I actually don't have anything. I have one ring that's emerald, but I don't have any other like green gem jewelry. So that is so fun. Last thing we got, a little Versace. A little, that's actually... Now I have Versace glass. I don't own anything Versace, but now I have glasses and a little watch. This is literally so cute. Literally stop, how gorgeous is this? Don't sleep on TJ Maxx. I'm telling you guys, every time somebody asks me where I get my jewelry, like very rarely is it from a like shop on Instagram because those shops they be getting me. Okay, I love BP Jewelry. I love En Route. Those are like my two Instagram boutique jewelry places that I absolutely love. Everywhere else, I get my jewelry at TJ Maxx. Like, people are literally shook when I'm trying to tell them you can find great stuff at TJ Maxx. Don't sleep. Literally don't sleep. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. Like, sometimes I walk in there and be like, oh, yeah, they have absolutely nothing. But sometimes you can get a bounty like this. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's personal, like, preference style, too. Like, my personal jewelry style is not going to be everybody's. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I was, like, so gagged at these pieces. I was just like, oh, my gosh, love, love love her do my skincare right now oh i need to switch my memory card but i'm doing this freaking toner method y'all i'm telling you the korean toner method insanity like it just holds your moisture so well these are like my top three products i'm loving my typology purifying toner then i use the laneige cream skin toner then i use the kiehl's facial essence these three right here these are my tea like i'm just obsessed like, it's been so much time later and i thought that we were gonna do something so cute and so fun like a little self-care look at the self-care that i pulled out for us to do a little touch of face mask lip mask foot exfoliation no do you know what i need to do that i've been putting off <laughs> my taxes yeah so the night before my birthday Oh, holy night, I am doing freaking taxes. So I was like, let's just make it fun. <laughs> okay, let's just make it enjoyable. So I poured me up a little Olipop in the wine glass, because why wouldn't I? I light some candles. I just got this rare beauty candle, which smells amazing. I was literally raving about the body lotion and spray. It all smells the same. All the scents are the exact same. 
so good and it's not too potent that's what i love about it anyways i'm setting the vibes like let's set the vibes to make this high vibrational because taxis is giving very low vibrational <laughs> like why why do i gotta do it every year actually i'm supposed to be doing them quarterly Shh, don't tell anybody it, they, they already know they penalize me for it every fucking time they're like you need me doing your hoop that gives a fuck i pay so what do you gotta tell me when you want your money at least i'm paying like, what the hell did, i don't know what you want from me i'm just a girl I'll show you guys what we're working with i put everything out on the bed the first step in actually doing my taxes is going through all of these. Yep, I have a whole binder and a whole bag of receipts. I think I'm gonna go through those first just to kind of see like what we're getting an idea of because if you guys didn't know, I talk about this all the time, but if you have receipts for things, anything that I technically show or buy to do in a video, to make in a video, any of that is a write-off because I'm buying something to produce the content. So it even goes so deep into your like physical appearance where you can write off getting your hair done, um, getting Botox, filler, facials, your nails, um, there's like a fine line between some of those things. It's kind of one of those things where like you have to look into it, but essentially you can write those things off because you have to keep up your physical appearance to do what, whatever you do, whatever it is that you do. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, it's kind of a, hi. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a fine line. Um, so yeah, everyone's, obviously everyone's taxes, especially with like this job, like social media, it's going to be a little bit different, you know? So go through my receipts, my subscriptions, um, anything that I've paid for to like make music, make content, everything. Like it's, it's deep. It takes me hours just to get the material. So that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna sip a party like y'all. It's my birthday. March 30th to be exact. Um, it's storming here. Actually, it has stopped for the moment, but it's storming and I can't stop sneezing. I think my allergies are really bad. I need to take a Zyrtec before we leave, but my mom and I are going to Cheesecake Factory. I think I told you guys that, that we're going to lunch and then i didn't think i was gonna do anything tonight because it's literally gonna be storming um but jazz texted me you guys know my friend jazz she messaged me and she was like uh no we're going out tonight for your birthday she's like i'll pick you up at six i'm like okay period love a friend that just makes plans for you so i want to try this um k18 air wash dry shampoo i'm doing my makeup right now my mom and i are about to go eat did I say where we're going? We're going to Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. Like, it's been my go-to for my birthday. Like, people are always like, really, Cheesecake Factory? Like, why? <laughs> but since I was little, like, that's where we've been going. So to me, it's like tradition at this point. It's like, if we don't go to Cheesecake Factory, like, I'm gonna be sad. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to Cheesecake Factory. I'm very excited. Gonna get a slice of cheesecake. Gonna get my Louisiana chicken pasta. That's what I get every time. I used to get the Chipotle chicken pasta then i tried the louisiana chicken pasta and now that's my go-to anyways we're gonna try this uh dry shampoo i cannot wait to see what it's giving oh god oh no i just fucked that up okay there we go it's like a feels very liquidy but i was gonna wash my hair this morning and then i was like you know what actually i'm thinking about a wavy vibe then i can just wash it tomorrow because sunday is my wash day yeah Oh, this stuff smells good. Ah, okay. Got that one in my eye. And it doesn't show up white, which I guess that's nice. Because sometimes it'd be showing up white and then it looks a little gray. And you're like, what the hell is that? I love the smell of this. Oh my god. This smell reminds me of like the detanglers as a kid. I just have like vivid memories of my mom spraying that detangle shit in my hair after my swim lessons. Yeah. <laughs> 
memory unlocked. Sorry, here, this is what I'm gonna use. Even though it's storming outside, don't care. We're gonna wear SPF. This silk sunscreen from Tatcha, this is like a new product, I believe. So good. Insane, like literally insane. I've been using it every single day. I just feel like it makes my skin look amazing. It's not tinted, even though like it looks like it would be. No, not tinted at all. Um, It's sheer. But like when it comes out, you would think that it would be tinted. No, it literally is so sheer. But, but yeah, it's just such a nice base. If you're like somebody who only wears sunscreen and, and you don't wear foundation, this is probably like great for you. Um, Also a good base just under makeup, you know what I mean? Because 50 SPF, yeah, I'm going to need that. Let me actually throw a little more on here. Just give such a nice like dewy, nice little dewy glow. But I did want to share with you guys my favorite lip combo right now it's sickening it's so sickening i uh, let me just <laughs> let me just calm down it is the rare beauty lip liner in gifted okay love this perfect brown and then we have this new ysl shade this is in the shade what is this shade is it love shine i have no clue what the shade is called actually but it's like this dark brown, and I'm not a lipstick girl, but these are very sheer and beautiful. Um, this is one of their new shades that they sent me. It's gorgeous. Like I would literally go out and buy this. If I had used this, I would go out and buy this. And I'm not a lipstick girl. Like I'm telling you, this is so beautiful. And then just any gloss. This gloss is very sheer. It looks like it would be corally and orange. It's not. It's not. It's like so sheer, simple. This gives me cherry cola lip. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the cherry cola. They were like going around for a little while. And I never tried to do one. And then I did this and I was like, this is giving perfect cherry cola lip. And I love it. Love it. Like it was just perfectly like a little red, a little brown. Oh my God, it's so good. I did it for my birthday OOTD. And I was like sickened. Like I was like, this is my everyday lip. No matter what. No matter what. Okay, I need to sneeze. A dry shampoo is actually good it's more wet than a powder but i feel like it's actually i think you have to wait for it to dry a little bit but so far so good it actually looks really good like i feel like it actually took the grease away without that powder anyways we're gonna do my makeup right now y'all i am so tired i went and got my free drink this morning because birthday rewards hello i need to see what else i can get for my birthday rewards Remember, I was really sad last year that I didn't get my Starbucks reward because they stopped doing it to where you get the reward like all week. You only do it on your birthday. Like you have to go on your birthday now. So I was like this. I told myself this year I'm getting my free drink because last year I didn't get it. And then they and they stopped doing it to where you can have it all week. They only do it on your birthday. Ah! Anyways, I got this Kat Von D palette from my grandma she had like extra makeup left over um that my aunt gave her so i got this kat von d palette and i used it for my birthday makeup for my ootd it was kind of giving like when you look at this i just feel like it doesn't look like these colors would be hitting but it's actually really good like i actually love the way my makeup turned out do you know what i like even more than this I should grab it. I don't even know where it is. My Natasha Denona palette. Hold on, because I need to show you guys that one. That one's sick of it. Natasha Denona, I need a nude palette. If I could take any eyeshadow palette, because I'm not really an eyeshadow girl like that. If I could take any eyeshadow palette for the rest of my life, oh, it would be this one. Yep. I remember I used this for Thanksgiving. Also, the packaging is just like stunning. It's so high quality. <sighs> like, come on, y'all. The shades are just like so unbelievably good, buttery, smooth, best nude palette. So I might just mess around with both of these today. This is like my favorite primer. This is a Cure the Blur by One Size. They have another primer too, but I haven't tried it because um, I love this one. <laughs> and I don't open things if I already have one open. That's like my rule for myself. Like if I already have a dry shampoo open, I'm not going to open this. Don't let myself try new products until I finish the ones that I already have. Otherwise, it just creates a lot of like excess and back stock for me. And I just rather use the products that I already have. Um, and if I don't like those, I'll give those away, then open something else. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to keep all this excess stuff like open 
it's just too much. That's my favorite little primer. So good. So good. I feel like it really makes like the my scars look smaller because I have ice pick scars like crazy um, from just having cystic acne. And it's like one of the only primers that I feel like actually makes my ice pick scars like look flawless. You know what I mean? Last night I stayed up till 1 a.m. Who am I? Like, literally, who is she? Because I usually I'm in bed. <laughs> Passed out by, like, 9, 10, 11. Um, but I told you guys that I've been having kind of a little bit of trouble sleeping. So I've been, like, finding new things to watch all hours of the night. And I've been seeing so many people talk about the Quiet on the Set documentary. And I was like, I'm starting that tonight. No way in hell did I think I was going to get so invested in that documentary oh basically if you guys don't know what it is or if you haven't heard about it it is all the tea that happened for nickelodeon literally remember how i said that i seen amanda Bynes the other day <laughs> yeah it's literally like the first couple episodes are literally about her and i was like this is so f weird and honestly i feel like watching it kind of gives you a little bit of insight on like why she had kind of the spiral that she did and why a lot of um like childhood stars grow up confused as fuck and it's really just about like the nasty people that are behind the scenes of some of these kids shows and it honestly made me so sad i literally was like tearing up when um drake from drake and Josh that was like my show i love disney and nickelodeon like genuinely i loved them both um but Oh my god, the shit that was happening over there in Nickelodeon. What the fuck? He got on there and told, like, his story. You could tell he was, like, visibly uncomfortable. Like, he couldn't even, like, explain it. And I, uh, it's just so sad. Like, just imagine being a child so young. You have no clue what's going on. You think you can trust these adults that you're on a fucking TV show with on the set. It was just very sad. Like, I literally, I was so tired. My eyes were literally shutting, but I couldn't stop watching because I was just shook like i did not know about any of that stuff i just kind of heard you know about like oh the producer of like iCarly and all these shows that he was like weird or something like i don't know i just heard like very minimal brief things but oh my gosh the tea the shit that was spilled in that documentary I wasn't expecting that i'm gonna be honest i was honestly watching it thinking like oh wow because i don't know if you guys knew this about me but literally i wanted to be a child actor like that was like my goal from a young age i knew that i loved theater i knew that i loved acting that was like my dream and you know at the end they're like would you put your child in acting and literally everybody on there is like absolutely fucking not like lit no like no knowing what they went through they're like i would never put my child in the entertainment industry i would never put my child into acting I always had like a certain sense of empathy for like kids that grow up in the spotlight because that's a whole different life they are essentially not living a normal life kind of like you and me you know what i mean just like how we had like a regular regular childhood not regular regular you know I, I know everybody has like shit that they went through in their childhood but i mean like they're growing up in the spotlight they're not going to school like a regular kid not getting socialized like a regular kid they're working from like sun up to sundown it's like a different dynamic people love to talk shit about these child stars like going off the rails and it's like well you wonder why you wonder why this happens to them because hello they're worked to the freaking bone they're so confused when they get out in the real world like onto brighter and better things i don't want to be sad on my birthday okay it's my freaking birthday but i did want to tell you guys like what i was up doing literally all last night we're gonna speed through this and then i'll probably see you guys when we get to cheesecake you're anything but baby did you know that
absolutely die when I tell you what happened tonight. It's good, nothing bad, but like, what are the odds and what are the chances? So we went out, we went to this place in Beverly Hills. I think it's in Beverly Hills. It's called Javier's. Mexican food, it's super cute in there. Super nice, just like a little fancy schmancy place. I never heard of it. My friends was like, I'm just taking you there. And I'm honestly just down for whatever. Whatever they want to do, I'm down with it. So seated next to this table of like 10, 12 people, probably like 12 people. And all of a sudden we're like, we had just ordered our drinks. And all of a sudden this kid comes over. I'm like, is he selling stuff? What's going on? And he's talking about, He's trying to be a wingman for one of the guys at the table, okay? And one of the guys at the table has a crush on my friend, Jazz. Y'all know Jazz. He comes over. He's sitting next to me talking to me. The kid is sitting at our booth talking. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Then some guy that's literally seven feet tall from Lithuania comes over. He <laughs> starts fucking talking to us. I guess they're basketball players. They're with some guy. I don't know the story. I'm going to be honest. It was hard to follow. All I know is that people were coming, getting up, coming down, sitting down at our table, getting up, sitting down, like literally the whole night. He was like, we're gonna get your check. We're gonna get your check, like order whatever you want, enjoy your night, fuck it, we ball. So he's definitely like a pro basketball player or he's got some money, okay? Because our tab was not cheap and they tipped our waiter. Like what, at the end, I was like, did they tip you? And the guy's like, oh yeah, they tipped me. And I was like, but was it good? Like, you know, do you want us to tip you more than that? Like, was it a good tip? And he's like, oh no, I was allowed to add my own gratuity. I was like, period, he got his own check. <laughs> he's like, I appreciate you for checking on me though. And I'm like, yeah, cause what the hell? I didn't know if they had tipped him or not, but they did. They literally told the guy to tip himself. <laughs> These people are rich. Okay, it's Beverly Hills, so anything is, anything else. Our whole meal was literally paid for, like $300 tab, shook. I'm shook out of my mind. And they weren't even like really bothering us. Like honestly, they would like come over and like chat here and there, but it was like, it wasn't like bothersome, you know? Like it wasn't like annoying. It was like honestly kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it was so good to catch up with my girls. One of my friends I haven't seen since like forever so it was so good to catch up with her too it was just such a vibe and it was so fun look i'm wearing my jewelry look this is how i'm gonna wear it i think like wearing them together so cute wash my face and ko for the night but i genuinely had the best birthday it started off a little rocky okay because instagram we got a fight okay they deleted my post because listen to my caption, my caption is so good. If you don't follow me on Instagram, 26 is when they kick you off your parents' health insurance. <laughs> yeah, it should really be 30, genuinely, to be honest. The reason I do that is because I know people are gonna have kids. I'm telling you, I got it up here. No, actually, I don't know the reason, I'm just guessing. But my caption was, off my mom's health insurance, but on these bitches' necks. <laughs> like, don't play with me, that shit is fucking hard, right? Then they delete it for bullying, I peeled that shit. And I was like, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm not really gonna be stepping on anyone's neck, hello. Like, get the joke. <laughs> and they put it back on Instagram. At that point, I had already reposted my Instagram post. Then they deleted that one and reposted this one. What are y'all even doing? Like, don't piss me off on my birthday. <laughs> not on my birthday, okay? Overall though, it was so good. But after that happened, it made me like so sad because I was like, I didn't even get to respond to anybody that like said happy birthday to me. That like made me feel bad. Like toes hurt. My feet are literally swollen. <laughs> oh, and then when they pulled up my friend's car, she valeted her car. They pull up her car. Why the fuck's got a big dent in it? Not a dent, I'm being dramatic, but it had a whole scratch on it. Why'd they scratch her shit? Oh. No, it's not like a scratch. It's like one of those things where like rubber or something hits it. You know what I mean? And you just gotta like wipe it off with like a dry erase marker or something or sponge or whatever. But I was like, not they fucking dented your shit. Cause what? They were literally standing there all looking at us, looking at the car like what? And I'm like, don't play dumb. 
It's up like that. We know what you did. I cannot believe I'm 26 now. It's wild. Like I feel literally 18, not 18, maybe like 21. Every year I feel like I'm turning 21. <laughs> Yeah, I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next motherfucking video. Bye, babe girls. Mm -hmm.